Fur is the earliest form of clothing material and remains one of the most popular choices of fabric today. Around the world, fashion designers are embracing fur, with fashion collections showcasing fur on around 70% of catwalks. Derived from a wholly natural and sustainable resource, not only is fur long-lasting, it is ultimately biodegradable. To ensure that furs are sustainable and responsible choices, the majority of raw skins produced by fur farmers are sold through recognized auction houses located mainly in Northern Europe and Northern America. Over 95% of fur materials traded comes from these auction houses. Fur farming has a long history. Globally, fur farms are tightly regulated by relevant local agricultural departments. The welfare of the animals is fundamental. The strict regulations ensure that they are kept in optimum-sized homes with excellent hygiene and nutrition, in addition to receiving proper veterinary care and a painless euthanasia process. This ensures the animals are healthy with beautiful furs. Clean water is always available with fresh feed delivered every morning. The feed itself is mostly derived from the waste products of meat, fish and dairy processing industries which would otherwise be disposed of into the environment. Well-managed fur farms support the environment further with the production of biogas and natural agricultural fertilizers. The killing method of farm animals is set out in law, emphasizing a quick and humane death. The animals are placed in carbon monoxide gassing boxes and become unconscious in seconds. Killing takes place in the quickest and most painless way possible. I know some of you watching me have also been watching some absolutely horrendous and barbaric videos which show animals being skinned alive. I've looked at them and they're disgusting. I share your concern. It really is a horrible thing to have to watch. And that's why I'm talking to you now to give you an absolute 100% assurance that in the regulated fur industry that I represent, this does not take place. Fur farms are regularly inspected by officials and license renewal is only granted if the strict standards set by the authority are consistently met. For the IFF and its members, animal welfare is a top priority. All IFF members have voluntarily signed a code of practice which promises to uphold the highest levels of welfare possible on their farms. China is one of the world's major fur markets. IFF has also been working closely with local authorities which has resulted in a number of set standards and regulations. A new standard called Welfare is being developed. It is an animal welfare certification program developed from scientific research based on the four principles of good housing, good feeding, good health and good behaviour. So it's really important that any country that wants to be involved in the production and farming of fur recognises it has to do it to the very highest possible standards. The fur industry takes great responsibility towards the environmental impact it has, ensuring the use of natural and renewable resources. Using new technologies, stronger certification and traceability programmes are being developed to protect and manage the processes within the fur industry, from the regulation of fur farms all the way to the final fashion products.